Jeremy Vine has been accused of posting an insensitive tweet about Joe Biden in the wake of the 81-year-old announcing his withdrawal from the U.S. presidential race over the weekend. Biden ended his bid for re-election on Sunday amid mounting pressure to step aside following the June 27 debate with Republican rival Donald Trump. He plans to serve out the remainder of his term in office, which ends at noon on January 20, 2025. The veteran politician, who said his presidency had been the greatest honor of his life as he announced his decision to step down, has offered his full support to his vice president Kamala Harris to be the Democrat nominee. Ariana Grande led celebrities reacting to the bombshell news in America on Sunday, with former Strictly Come Dancing contestant Jeremy Vine offering his thoughts on social media on this side of the pond, with one of the broadcaster's statements causing quite a bit of controversy. In what seems to be a now-deleted tweet shared from Vine's verified Twitter, X, account, the BBC Radio 2 presenter appears to have captioned a series of pictures of Biden with, a bad day for at Joe Biden, but this one, in 1972, must have been worse. Soon after he was first elected Delaware senator in Nove 72, a car crash killed his wife and infant daughter and badly hurt his two young sons. He was sworn in at their bedside in hospital. Sharing a screenshot of the alleged tweet before its deletion, internet personality Jay Motti told his followers, Jeremy Vine has now deleted this. I'm amazed he thought it, wrote it out, posted it and left it up for over an hour. Absolutely insane. Another Twitter user shared their own screenshot and noted how Vine had tagged Biden in the post. I really don't understand what possessed Jeremy Vine to tweet that. Incredibly odd behavior, one social media commentator mused as the screenshot went viral. That's genuinely unhinged behavior, another added, as a third wrote, Jesus Christ, WTF must be going on in your head to think that out and then to publicly post it. The Mirror has approached representatives for Jeremy Vine for comment on this story. Biden announced his decision to withdraw his bid for re-election on Sunday night, saying it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down. In a post on his social media accounts, he said, My fellow Democrats, I have decided not to accept the nomination and to focus all my energies on my duties as president for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my vice president. And it's been the best decision I've made. Today I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. In a separate letter posted to Twitter, X. Biden said it had been the greatest honor of his life to serve as president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling the duties as president for the remainder of my term. He said in his statement he would address the nation on the matter next week. Adding, for now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me re-elected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always have that there is nothing America can't do, when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America. The decision comes after escalating pressure from Biden's Democratic allies to step aside following his faltering June 27 debate, including a plea from Hollywood actor George Clooney. Biden's term in office ends at noon on January 20, 2025. 
riding on his Truth Social platform, former U.S. President Donald Trump, who is standing for the Republican Party, said, Joe Biden was not fit to run for president, and is certainly not fit to serve, and never was. He added, we will suffer greatly because of his presidency, but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly. Make America Great Again The UK Prime Minister has praised Biden for making a decision based on what he believed to be in the best interest of the American people after the US President withdrew his bid for re-election. Responding to Biden's decision, Sir Keir Starmer said, I respect President Biden's decision and I look forward to us working together during the remainder of his presidency. I know that, as he has done throughout his remarkable career, President Biden will have made his decision based on what he believes is in the best interests of the American people. Follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.